Hello, my name is Adele Hausman from Her Smile. We help women step into their power using the tools fitness, beauty and styling. For more information, please go to hersmile.com.au. Now today I want to be talking about how to apply your mascara correctly. Now there are a few steps to do this the right way and I'm going to share you my little tips that I have learned over my 61 years of being on this planet, okay? So there are a few tools that you're going to need. The first one is um, a magnifying mirror. So as we age, we lose our eyesight. And so I have this small magnifying mirror that I put on the edge of my mirror um, and that I use religiously, okay? It's the way I get all the finer details in because I can't see, all right? And it's, it's just, um, you want to be able to step out confidently. So you want to be sure that you have seen everything correctly. I do recommend that you invest in a magnifying mirror, okay? Then you'll also be needing what I call a spoolie or what is known as a spoolie, okay? So that's just a plain mascara brush. You can probably get it at a um, price line or a departmental store or a pharmacy, okay? You can also buy them online. I'm crazy about this tool from Real Techniques. It's got the comb. I'm mad about that for separating the eyelashes, okay? And then you're going to need, my secret, I have an old mascara that I have kept because of the wand, okay? I've kept the old mascara, it's dried up, but it's the wand that I've kept it for. And then I have a new fresh mascara, as you can see, a fresh one, but of course, that one's going to be, as we'll discuss in a minute, there's problems with that. That's the reason why we're having this conversation, okay? Then we are going to be needing, you may be needing some contact solution. That's for contacts, for your eyes, for contacts, for cleaning them. Um, I'll explain to that to you now. And then you also need tissues, earbuds, eye makeup remover, all those sort of things. Yes, that's what I've got lying in front of me, just to remind me. Okay, good. All right. So the first thing you need to be doing is to make sure that you've got mascara. All right. So if your mascara is drying up, go and buy yourself a new one. But don't throw the old mascara away. Because as I've said, you want to use the wand, which I'll explain to you now. But if your mascara has dried up, and then you go and you put it into a mug of hot water. And you stand it in the mug, you know, obviously the side the, with the con that contains the um, product in it, that side down, and you stand it in the mug for five, 10 minutes and allow the solution inside to soften and then swirl it around and mix it and swirl it around to try and scrape it to try and pick up the edges and get them off. But again, better off getting yourself a new mascara. Okay, uh, if you don't want to do that, there's another solution to the problem if it's dried up and that's to add a few drops of the contact solution, the eye contact solution, just two drops, all right? And then again, smoosh it around, pick up the sides of it, get it moving. And again, get yourself a new mascara. Now you want to actually start applying the mascara. So what is the preparation? First of all, get your magnifying lamp, light, mirror, and then you're going to take your spoolie. Okay, so what you're going to do with your spoolie is you're going to separate the lashes. So you're going to get in there and you're going to separate the lashes and make sure that they're not sticking together. Okay, so separating your lashes, getting in there right down to the root. That's just with a dry brush. You're going to make sure that the lashes before you start are actually separated. Okay, good. Then what we're going to do is we're going to actually apply the mascara. Now, this is where we get into the two brushes, all right? You've got the brush that's, that's empty, and you've got the new one. Now, as you can see on the new one, there's a lot of product. So if I go straight to my eyelashes with that, I've got a problem because it's going to be clumpy, and it's going to stick all the lashes together. So this is my secret. You do this. But now, don't go and put that back in the container just stand it on the side because we want to come back to it. But this is now my, my old mascara brush that I have filled up with the new mascara that's clumpy. All right. Now you get again into the eyelashes. So what you're going to do is get down into the roots. Get right down into the roots, right up against your eyelid. All right. Right up against the skin. 
but underneath. And go right down into the corner and go right into the middle and right into the side. Okay, now while it's still wet, you're going to quickly go with your spoolie and you're going to make sure that the lashes are separated. So you've got your spoolie, that one, okay, and you're going to go and you're going to make sure that your lashes are separated. Got it? Okay, before it gets dry, you're then going to take the fresh mascara, the new mascara one, okay, and you're going to get in there and go again. Right down into the roots, all right? And then you're going to take your spoolie. Now listen to me carefully because this is the white part where something new for you. Before it's dried, you want to get into the corner once and make sure that they are pushing in towards the nose, all right? You want to get into the middle of the lashes and make sure that they are going straight up. And then, ladies, you want to get into the side, the edge, the wing, and you want to separate them and make sure that they flare out. Okay, and there you are. You have your mascara. All right. Now, what I suggest is that you do your eyes and your mascara before you do your foundation and the rest of your face. So that if you have any fallout while you're doing your eyes, it's not now stuck onto a beautiful foundation that you've now got to fix. Okay, so if you have any fallout, what you do is you take your earbuds and you have a look at your eye, okay, and then you just scrape underneath if there's any fallout. Okay, so can you see the eyelash? All right, so what we did was refresh. We took the plain brush and we separated the lashes. So we're separating the lashes to make sure that they're not stuck before we start. Okay? Okay, got it? Then what we did is we took the dried up brush and we took the new brush and we just scraped off some onto the old brush so that we're sharing and separating the content. Otherwise, it's going to be too much. All right? Then we get down deep into the eyelashes right up against the skin and we dig deep and make sure that we are going right up against the skin and then up because that's going to then make the eyelash look longer but get right, getting right down up against the eyelid okay then you're going to take your spoolie and separate them again working quickly and separate them again working quickly so that you can make sure that they're not sticking together. All right? Got it? There's a funny hair there, but anyway, I'll deal with that later. And then you take your mascara, the fresh one, and you go over again, get right into the inside lashes, right up, outside lashes, okay? And then you take the spoolie again, okay, and working quickly, because you don't want it to dry. Now this is the part where you separate them. You go in towards the nose, you go up in the center, and then you flare them out on the end to give them the wing. And voila, you have your eyelashes done. Now, the, remember I was speaking about the comb. The comb is there in case you do get some clumping and you're just trying to separate. So you're trying to separate with the comb I love the comb, it works amazingly. All right, so the comb is for separating if you're still getting some clumping, which you shouldn't be getting, but you know, you know, you know what it is, things happen, life happens. All right, so the most important thing now is that, oh, so what I wanted to say to you was that you might hear of people who put mascara on the top of the lashes. When I'm doing a client's eyelashes, I do. But it's very tricky to get it right and not mess on the eyelid, okay? So if you trust yourself, that's great, go on top as well. But if you don't and you can't risk the mess, then leave it because no one's going to know, okay? And then to remove it, make sure that you do that properly. 
So we're inclined to just take it and rub it, you know, we put our eye makeup remover on. We put it on the eyelid and we rub and rub and rub and rub because we're in a hurry to get into bed or whatever. Okay, and we don't do it properly. And the next morning you wake up with this delightful black line under your eyes. And that is because, remember, I said to you, get in right deep up close against the eyelid, against the skin, to really pick up those lashes and make them stand up, all right? So to get remove it right up against the eye, put your eye makeup remover on a good clump, put a good mount on, then fold it in half and make sure you've got eye makeup remover there and then get in right where you were when you were doing the mascara, right in deep and get in there and zigzaggy movements and remove it that way. Okay, well I hope this has been helpful. And if you have enjoyed it, please comment or like, or if you've got any advice or if you've got any comments, please comment or like or whatever. We'd love to hear from you. If you actually do it and you have some images to share with us, we'd love to see them. If you're on our YouTube channel, please will you subscribe. We're trying to grow our channel. And if you would like some more information about our private tutorials that we do one-on-one, -on -one, we do this face-to-face -face or online very successful and very personalized, then please go to the link that I am going to share with this video, hersmile.com.au, and then you'd go to the section, the, the beauty section. And under the beauty section, you'll find the makeup tutorials. Okay, so otherwise, thank you very much for joining me, and until next time.